What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at the foot birthday player SBC for today and it is going to be Javinho to review. Now this card right here, having 97 pace, you know he's going to be a big, big issue with that pace. You know he's going to be a player that's going to be getting in behind consistently with those high, low work rates. And he's going to be a player that's going to be hard to stop. Now he has got 88 dribbling, 85 shooting, 85 passing, with the 68 physicals as well. He is a 5 foot 10 player with five star skill moves and a three star weak foot the weaker foot i must admit is a little bit questionable but i like how they actually upgraded his skill moves all the way over to five star now when it comes down to the chem style i have gone for it is going to be the marksman chem style the marksman chem style giving him the shooting ability which he clearly does need also boosting up his dribbling aka the reactions the ball control and the dribbling to 90 plus but also giving him extra strength and i must admit you, i doubt you're going to see like a big difference between 62 strength and 72 strength but you know at least you have got that little boost to his game so he has got 98 acceleration with a 97 sprint speed so this guy is insanely fast and the only player that i feel like is going to catch up to him is probably going to be Varane because we all know Varane in this game he catches up to everyone no matter what the player's pace is now his shooting ability 95 attacking positioning 97 finishing 89 shot power 90 long shots 86 volleys with the 83 penalties as well and when it comes down to shooting traits unfortunately he he does not have one but those shooting stats you get this guy inside the box on that stronger foot i feel like it's going to be a guaranteed goal now his passing ability it doesn't look too bad but it looks very good for a winger let's say 89 vision 90 crossing 87 short passing 80 long passing with the 83 curve as well it's clear of the age of is not going to be a player that's going to be playing in that cam position with having very low long passing and having high low work rates now his dribbling ability 98 agility is absolutely insane 85 balance 90 90 reactions, 97 ball control, 99 dribbling with the 80 composure. I must admit the composure is quite low, but everything else there looks top tier. Now, when it comes down to his physicals, the only thing you can come out and say the, like something about the physicals is good is the stamina. 86 stamina is very, very good, but everything else there, like 80 jumping, 72 strength with a 60 aggression, obviously ain't the best. Now, when it comes down to links, you will literally have to play this guy only in a Serie A team because the club he comes from doesn't come, you know, it, there's no like outrageously good players from that club. So links when it comes down to the club is not great. And the nationali nationality as well, Ivory Coast, is not amazing in this game either for links. So literally, if you're going to get this guy, you have a Serie A team. But I've personally gone for icons and it is going to be Carlos Alberto and your boy Deco. He's made a return this review. Either way, boys, which positions will I be trying Javinho in? It is going to be the 4-4-2 in that striker position. You best believe I'm going to be playing him striker just to see how good his finishing ability is. But I will try him in his natural position as well in that land position in a 4 2 3 1. But let's get into the games. Give it through the middle there. Well played. Gonna go for that lack of care to cancel. Fake shot around the corner to a scoop turn. That's perfect. Go for a finesse shot as well. And Galaski is gonna pull out a wonder save. I personally thought I was actually gonna go in because it was a really, really good angle. But what a save. Can I export it into the middle? Javinho chest touch it. Great control. Can I go for the 1-2? I've told him to make that running behind. Can I play the ball? It might be a slightly too late. Please don't be offside. Okay, it's perfect. Can I cut into the inside? Well played. Good ball roll as well. Can I get around him? This Alfonso Davis. Oh, but he's been nutmegged. And he's been put onto the ground. Javinho, surely a penalty. I like how he was actually fighting for the ball there. It's just we couldn't get that perfect turn with him. Can I pass to the inside? I can't. I'm going to go for that dummy. It wasn't the greatest, but we got it off. Well played. Ball around you. Into the inside. Like I care to cancel. Scoot turn. No, I tried to see if I could trust into that left foot and see if I can get a finish, but it didn't really work out. Hold up a second, though. Nah, come on. I like how he feels on the ball. It's just right now, my opponent, he's defending pretty well. Morris, over to Javinho. What a turn. That's an unbelievable turn. Fake shot, going to take it calm, go for it towards that near post and we are going to get the first goal. Nice composure just to take it very calm and just like kind of confuse my opponent and obviously just smash it towards the near post. Morris, double way over to Javinho. Can I get that scoop turn? I can. I'm going to try to get around you as well. Go for that power shot. I'm telling you, I'm in my opponent's head right now. Just getting, getting him all kind of confused when it comes down to defending. But what a finish from Javinho again. I feel like he's finishing straight up on that right foot is always going to be nice. But I feel like it's that left foot. It's that three-star weak foot that we might have an issue with. 
Morris. I see Javinho making a solid run. Is he going to get to it? I'm going to go for a chip and he actually manages to get his foot. I think it was above the keeper and we do actually get a goal. Really nice run for him just to realise where the open space was and what a finish as well. Give it to Javinho. Go for that dummy. Well played. Great touch to accelerate into the open space. Look how good his skill moves come off, by the way. Like, look how clean they are. Just so close to his feet. Allow me to do, you know, like chill, uh, chain skill moves. See if I can flick it into the open space. I can. Ball roll to a scoot turn. You see what I mean? Like, he's dribbling his top tier. It really is. I like how he keeps it close to his feet. I like how he goes for those quick turns as well. And I like how the skill moves actually come off with him. Can I give it to his feet here? I can. Give it to Curtis Jones. That's well played. He should be able to get in behind. There you go. I'm going to go for the chip. Oh, can we get a goal? I thought for a second he took that touch a little bit too much. But we do eventually get the goal. And this guy has paused the game. And I believe there's only one thing that's going to come. Surely. Is it going to be a rage quit? It is going to be a rage quit. Aguero. I see Javinho. Oh, what a pass. Oh, my God. What a pass from Aguero. And we are going to actually get a three-star weak foot finish straight into the corner as well. But what a pass that was. Well played, Javinho. Good interception. Scoop turn going down. Use the pace just to see if you can get him behind. And he does it with ease. I see a back stick. Can I get it? Oh, my God. What a cross. But what a miss from Aguero. If that goes in with 2-0 up in six minutes. Javinho. Over to Morris. Well played. Is he going to react to where I dribble? He is. I like how he actually switched up his run there. Like, you can clearly see his movement in that striker position is not bad at all. Oh, I couldn't get that, about, that pass back to Aguero. But yeah, you can clearly see his movement in that striker position is not bad at all. Like, he is moving a lot and he's not just staying in one area. RBA straight through the middle. Well played. Give it back to him. Can I get a scoop turn around the corner? I can. See if I can go for it again. Reverse flip flap, continue down the line. Look how close he, I'm telling you boys, like, look how perfect that is. No, I tried to do Clyber one more time. I overdid it. I could have just shot on his left foot, to be fair. Give it to him down the line. I'm going to go for the dummy. Is it going to work out? Oh, he's done so well to actually get onto it. He uses a little bit of strength to actually beat Curtis Jones. I kind of want to take these two players on, but it didn't really work out. Come on. Mount, through the middle. Oh, that's so perfect. Can I get round the corner? I've overdone it way overdone it but we're still gonna get the goal that was lucky that was very very lucky because right there i thought i was gonna get tackled like one or two times but apparently i didn't give it straight to feet nice good little pass as well Murray's on the ball gonna see javinho make that beauty of a run he's gonna have enough pace to get on the end of it oh my god that was probably the worst volley i have ever seen there was no accuracy there was no power at all and that's when you're gonna that's what you're gonna get time to time with a three star weak foot see if i can get him in behind i mean he hasn't really yeah i was about to say he hasn't really covered him properly and we are gonna miss another opportunity with that three star weak foot i'm telling you if that's on his stronger foot boys that is flying in give it to him there i called him short Flip flap. Oh, that's perfect. On the strong. Oh, no, not on the stronger foot. I thought he was going to go for like a kind of outside foot shot, but he doesn't really have, he doesn't have the trait, so he didn't really go for it. But either way, another miss with that left foot, which is not great to see. Can I? Referee, surely. All right, we're taking the free kick with him. Come on. Javinho, can you step up to the plate and can you score this? Where is it? 51 free kick accuracy. Very interesting. Very, very... He's moved the keeper all the way, which is something I don't like because I don't want to have three goals. You know what? I'm going to go for the fake shot, then a the first time shot. Because I don't like how he's moving the keeper and he's moved it into the... That was probably the worst shot I've ever seen in this game. What am I seeing, Javinho? You, like, off a first time shot as well. So it is time to review and we ended up playing three games with Javinho. We scored six goals and unfortunately we did not come out with an assist. But boys, I must admit, I had, a f I had fun with this card. Like, he's a very enjoyable card to use. And the dribbling is nice when he's not under pressure and he has to use his composure. Because when he's under pressure and his composure comes into play, you do notice a slight bit of a bad touch which allows your opponent to go in and tackle him. That is something I didn't like about him too much. But if you can try to get around that, it will be perfectly fine, you know. His pace was very good. He always came off very nice as well. His shooting ability on the right foot felt very nice. But when it came down to the left foot, on the other hand, it was a little bit questionable. There was opportunities that he could have easily gone in with like a four-star weak foot. And it could have made Javinho have like eight goals, nine goals in these three games. But it obviously didn't. Now, do I believe he is worth the 150k he is currently going for? I actually do. 
I really do. Like, some people are saying it is overpriced because the links you get with him is not great. And I must admit, it's not great. Like, Ivory Coast and obviously Palmer is not the greatest, like, club slash nationality to link in this game. But you have to understand, he does come from this Serie A and it is a very, very good league this year for links. So, 150k, I honestly say would be, like, a reasonable price. Now, the thing is, if you are sitting there and you got an El Sharari, you are sitting there, you've got a Ribery. There will be absolutely no need to you to get this card right here because those two players are easily better than Jovino, like straight up. So if you got those two players, obviously miss out on the Jovino, you know, just completely miss out on him, push him to a side. But if you missed out on those two players and you're looking for a Serie A, like winger, go ahead and get him. Like he can play in the striker position if you want him to, but I feel like if you want to use him to his full potential, use him down the line. That's when you're going to see that pace, that dribbling. You're going to see him, you know, kind of come out to shine, let's say. But let's get straight into the ratings. Pace-wise, I must admit, I felt like the 98 acceleration and 97 sprint speed was a little bit of a lie, but not too much. Like, I'm still going to give him, I would say, like a 9.6 out of 10. But I was out here thinking to myself, I'm probably going to give this guy like a 10 out of 10 for pace. But it wasn't, you know, that high. It wasn't like on a Team of the Year Alfonso kind of level, where that guy just goes for it. He like straight up bombs through everyone, you know. With Javinho, he did a little bit of it, but he didn't do as much as I wanted him to do. Now, his shooting ability, keep in mind the left foot wasn't great, so that is going to lower the rating. But for shooting, I am still going to give him a decent rating and it is going to be, I would say like an 8.5 slash an 8.6 out of 10. If he, if his three star weak foot wasn't as bad, let's say, or like straight up he had a four star weak foot, I'll bump, I'll bump that up to like an 8.8 .8 easily. But because that three star weak foot is a bit of a letdown, it can't be that high. Passing ability, love the short passing, I must admit, and the thing was I could do it with both feet as well. The long passing was okay, I guess. Like, I tried it a few times, and it did come off a few times, but there was, you know, an odd occasion where you could see that it went a little bit too far, or it went a little bit too short, and then Defender just eventually got it. So for passing, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8.3 out of 10. Dribbling ability, this is where he's going to get a decently high rating, because he does deserve it. It's just the composure that did let him down in some areas. So for dribbling, I am going to give him, I would honestly say, like an 8.9 out of 10. And when it comes down to the physicals, their strength was better. I must admit, it was better than I expected it to be. I thought Javinho was going to be a player that was going to be getting bodied onto the ground literally every single time. But he wasn't. He was actually fighting for the ball a decent amount. And when he came down to the stamina, it did last for the whole 90 minutes, but it also depends on kind of on kind of which area you are playing him in. Like 86 stamina is very good, but if you're consistently hitting him down the line, he is going to use a lot of stamina, especially with him having high low work rates. He's going to be consistently getting him behind as well. So for physicals, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like a, I'll probably say like a 7.4, 7.5 out of 10. Obviously it's not going to be that great, but when it comes down to an overall rating out of 10, I am going to give him, I'll probably say I'll probably say like an 8.6 out of 10. I feel like that is a very reasonable kind of rating for this card. I must admit, I did expect better. I really did. And I was disappointed in some areas. But if you are sitting there and you need a serial winger and you have not got El Sharari, you have not got Ribery at all, then obviously go ahead and get Javinho. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.